Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for SP Page Builder 3. In this lesson, we're going to add a carousel. So you drag it over. And a carousel is a nice way for you to present your images with words, as you can see here. And what these guys have done is they have incorporated this for you. In other words, they've given you samples of what it will look like. So you can change the text, you can change the words, you can change the, the picture, you can add more items on there. So let's take for example this one here. You wanted to change the words. You click on this cog here to edit. And you can change this words to anything. Anything. Anything you want. And you scroll down. You can change the title size. You want to title a little bit bigger. You can make it a little bit bigger. If you want uh, the line height to be up or close, you can push it down um, as far as you want it to go. And you can edit the text that goes here. And you can change the font family. You can change the image. So let's say you didn't like this image and you wanted to change it to something else. Well, you can just click to remove and add a different image. We're going to do that in just a second here. But I want to give an overview here to see how simple and easy it is to, uh, to edit this. And you can link this button here as well. You put your link there. Do you want this link to open a new window? Same window. What type of link you want it to be? You can change the info. And as you're changing this, the color for that changes as well. You can have just a link or you can have a custom where you decide what type of color scheme that you want to go with here. And then you can change the button you want to fill with. You set to yes, it's going to extend. You set to no, it's going to contract. And then the button you want to square or do you want to round? And you can choose to add an icon with this. So you choose here. And you can choose the position for that icon. Do you want it to the left or to the right? So you want it to the left or, and you should change it here. It changes accordingly. And then once you're done, you click on this check mark and it is going to, you know, your changes are there. And if you want to add another um, carousel, you click on add item or you can just clone this one here. So let's go and add a new one. So scroll down, you put in the title for this new one and you can click here. So you have a blank canvas, you put in the title, title goes here. And then you scroll down, you can put in your text. I'm just going to copy this and just clone it. And you can choose the format family that you want. You can choose the content type. Uh, you can choose the line height. And you can choose an image on the background. So I'm going to grab this image here. So now if you want to see, you just click on the next one and it shows you what you're working with. And you have a lot of control over how things look. So let's say you want to fix this a little bit more. And as you're changing it, it changes the size of it. So that's what you've worked with. And um, you can click this. And what we're going to do is let's add another. You, so you can pretty much just scroll here and it's going to scroll to the next one. And you can configure this how you want it to be. If the text size is too big, you can come to the cog and you can change uh, the size for this and change the title color, change that to white. So as you come to look at it, now it's turned into white. And you can change the size for this here. So you have a lot of flexibility in terms of how you can get this to look. So go ahead and play around with it. If you want to add a button to it as well, you can do that. So I'll just add it to sign up button. And now you see it's right there. And you can add the line height. Now the reason why when I make a change, it keeps skipping like this is because you have to, since it's a carousel, you have to scroll back here. And you can customize this. I just wanted to give you an idea to show you how it works and how you can go ahead and start to, you know, play around with it. So if you're done and you're satisfied with it, you click on that check mark. But it's very simple to get the carousel up and going. So go ahead, feel free to, you know, try it out, you know, tweak it out and put different things there and see how it comes out for you. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button at the bottom. So anytime a new video like this one is released, you're going to be the first person to get access to it.